what you see opposite the road are the tailing stamps. There are more than 120 years of um, a gold mining activity by more than 120 gold mines. They created the largest gold and uranium mining basin in the world, which is now flooded or flooding with acid mine water. Acid mine drainage is really the, the natural production of sulfuric acid um, through interaction of oxygenated water, which is rainwater, with certain minerals in the rock. And the most important mineral in that respect is iron sulfide, pyrite. And uh, this reacts with oxygen to produce sulfuric acid. Uh, it's a two-stage process. The first stage involves the oxidation of the sulfur part to give um, a, a material called ferrous sulfate, FeSO4 plus sulfuric acid, and when that uh, FeSO4 is exposed to further oxygen, it will undergo another step of oxidation involving the iron this time, and the iron precipitates as uh, a red iron hydroxide, it's like a rust-looking material, and generates more sulfuric acid. So the overall effect of this is to produce sulfuric acid, which lowers the pH of the water to levels that damage ec ecological ecosystems, but in addition, it also dissolves, the acid also dissolves other, met other metals in the rock, which would not normally be soluble and they become transported into the environment. So toxic metals like copper, cobalt, nickel become mobilized as a result of the acidity and they get spread into the environment. These tailing stamps are significant sources of not only water contamination, but also dust uh, fall out. The dust is not uh, uh, benign, it contains metals, and it was found by the National Nuclear Regulator, the organ of state, that the main radioactive pathway, the principal radioactive pathway, is the inhalation and the ingestion of radioactive dust and the deposition of the radioactive dust on crops. The people who are directly affected most severely are people who rely on streams or their water supply direct, directly on water, for example, who live next to these rivers and whatnot. And in the, in the built-up areas, those are primarily the extremely poor people who live in self-constructed homes, what we call squatter camps. So they are the ones who are most affected because they rely on that water directly. But the, the, the piped water system that's supplied to residents in the in the in the Johannesburg areas of fantastic quality, it's outstanding quality. It's not affected by these issues because it comes from upstream, way out of the mining areas. It comes from upstream and it's clean, but the there are a lot of downstream users, towns further downstream, that need that water. The main thrust of the Department of Water Affairs here is to try and reduce the salt load in the river to improve the water quality for the downstream users. Not the people in Johannesburg who are the victims. We are part of the problem, I would say, if anything. It's because it's our wastewater that they use. It's our gold mines that are actually polluting their water. Here at the water treatment plant, they use lime and limestone to neutralize acid mine water. The big pipe over there contains untreated acid mine water. The smaller pipe is the lime. The bigger pipe also now contains the recirculated slurry or metal. From these trains, these treatment trains, it is then pumped to the CPS pit. But this treatment is an incomplete treatment, but this is the current short-term and immediate treatment of acid mine water. It's increasing the pH to allow some of the metals then to precipitate, but the sulphite still remains unacceptably high.